So, uh, good afternoon, good morning, good day, wherever you are watching from. <laughs> I'm in Nigeria, so I'll say good evening to those of you that are watching and are in Nigeria. I apologize that I'm coming uh, online this late. I I decided to come and do something in Ogun State this evening, and it turns out uh, I came in late. So, but because some persons already called me to say to ask if I was coming online, I decided to do, at least, even if it is late, it's better than never. Let me do something. But I hope you can hear me. I'm not trusting this uh, headboard I'm using. I just want to be sure that people can hear me. Well, tonight I want to discuss uh, quickly. Naturally, it's something I don't even want to put my mouth in. Something I don't want to put my mouth in. The reason is that I already wrote an article and Sarah Reporters also published it. I already poured my mind what I feel about it. But naturally, I do not even expect people to take that video seriously. I woke up and saw buzzes. People just sending me the video clip. Shegun, what do you say about this one? Shegun, please address it. Shegun, please let... Uh, she will re react or respond to this and I'm like hey, you what do you think about it you know more than 20 persons sent it to me on whatsapp and I'm like is it something serious you are the people making something out of this thing there's nothing in fact the first the first one I saw all right the first person I saw uh, the video I, and I decided to play it what I saw in it the person said the person wrote the caption this person uh, that uh, Shagun, please listen to this lady she's alleging that she read she's alleging a rape case that she is covering up do you know what first came to my mind do you know what first came to my mind? i first thought like i'd not played the video i just saw the caption and i'm like maybe the lady is trying to accuse shore of rape <laughs> sometime in the past or maybe the lady even wanted to suggest that she really had a stint with her and then she got pregnant and she really ran away. <laughs> Those are my initial thoughts until I played the video. You know, when I started listening to the video, by the time I listened to the first few, and she was looking serious and stern in her face, I was like, really? Let me take my time and listen to it well. I watched it till the end. I did not see any single valid allegation. I didn't see any single uh, useful thing she said there. It was all crap. If at the moment I finished watching the video, the first response, I just gave the person one word that sent it to me. I just said, Shegu, it's a very serious point. The woman was sent. Well, it's not, it's just, it's not an, a serious issue. The woman is a learner in the blackmail business. She doesn't know how to do it. She doesn't know how to do it. Uh, so, but the way she was looking, she's a very good actress, and I must give it to her. She acted well. The action looked real. The face looked real, including the way she was beating her chest and promising that she's an Ajaya Biyama or something like that. <laughs> I was like, I've seen this with Yarimo before in movies. So I've seen it everywhere. So, it doesn't make any sense. But what is the substance in it is what matters to me. So I wanted to see the substance. I just replied to the person. I said, I've, saw, I've seen this video. There's no substance in it. So all I can say is that this is spoof. And the person was like, no, le don't let us just disregard it or dismiss it as spoof. -o. Somebody else responded to it. I said, I said, you, what do you make of it? What did you make of it? And the person was like, eh, I just feel we should investigate it. I said, well, let me tell you the gist. The gist is like this. Uh, if this person is claiming that she already has a video that he wants to cover up, the first thing is, if you claim you gave a video to Shore and you know the content of the video, what you should do is, let us have another copy of the video. We will all circulate for you. Number two, if you claim you gave it to Shore, what type of tape did you give your is it is it a tape master tape or copy of it or something you electronically transmitted 
if it is electronically trans transmitted or uh, electronically transmitted definitely we can have copies that we can all share all right i'm sorry about the poor video with grains all over tonight is i'm not at home i came to state to do something quickly i came in late there's no there's electricity but i can't mount my gadget because of time so just bear with i'm using my phone to record tonight i'm managing little little light around so that's number two number three did you give money to shore to publish for you because that would have been another valid allegation and from what i know about shore and the way you're pretty sorry reporters nobody you will not take money from anybody to publish whatever weight it in even with all your evidence the only currency you can pay to shore is evidence and i that's as much as i know the way you operate is sahara reporters the only thing you can give shawri and he will accept from you to publish is evidence you can't pay shawri in currency of money he will not take it this is a shawri that after the 2015 election one of the apc chieftains came out to say that he salutes shawri because when they were giving money to media owners publishers and proprietors editors that the money that they marked for shore alone that if let me put the statement exactly the way he said it he said if shore had accepted that money it would have been made for life meaning that shore did not even accept the money so the woman is not alleging that shore took money the woman in subsequent videos also said that um in subsequent in the first video there are so many contradictions by herself already the first video she said she met shore the second video she admitted she never met shore but that they only met by inbox message she already then did the screenshot and <laughs> uploaded it oh yeah beyond this what was our meeting she said did she now open up in sub subsequent videos uh we never met physically but at least we we had the conversation she already had screenshot the conversation beyond that conversation where is the video you gave to him she hasn't said the kind of video it is number three you allege that there was a rape and she is trying to cover the rape okay fine if she is trying to cover the rape who are the persons involved in that rape that we can now say okay because it is also person that is involved that's why she is trying to cover it who was in that video that raped people let us know that's number three number four you also said that she already sold the video to who and for how much so she read as we reporting and i remember to those of you because i already wrote it in that article but let me just say it for clarity again i've been working with ngos for a while in the course of it i know the way they operate there's no way you have such weighty incidents that you want to al allege your report and you will not in one way or the other you're not in one way or the other involve the police or the nap tip because this is trafficking and prostitution. She has been reporting this thing since ages. Not now that you now have said some people. In fact, the Shore I know will even by himself involve the police if you have not done it. Now, the way NGOs operate is this they will involve police, they will involve NAPTIP, then they will involve the media to help them circulate the information. She has not reported to police that there was a rape incident. She had not reported to Naptip. She had not reported to other media. She gave it to Shore alone. Okay, fine. If there is true copy of anything you give to Shore, we should have the copy. We all are interested now. Uh, Miss or Mrs. Uh, Onolaja. I've forgotten the first name. I don't know. Uh, at the tone, yes. Now, if that is the case, hmm? In the course of my reporting as a journalist, cases like this, I in, in the course of it, I know Dr. Joe Kiyodumaki of Women Arise for Change Initiative. I know Dr. Josephine Fachukuma. I know Princess Olufemi Kayode of, um, of uh, uh, Media Con, that is Media Concern for Women and Children. I know Dr. Abiola Akiode of Watsi, that is uh what he is um women advocacy research and development center what see i know dr abiola Kiodi of the what see 
I know a lot of people who are doing. I know Titi Akosa. If I know persons in the DPP, uh, Directorate of Public Prosecution, in the course of this kind of work, I know Frank Uba when he was first PR. And if you recall, there was a time a popular matter broke out in Lagos of uh, Lagos perpetrators in Ijibu. It was, in fact, because of the kind of persons involved in that case, several media houses could not step in. It took Sahara reporters, first of all, to start reporting that matter. They, they call it Lagos perpetrators or Pepe Sodomi, if you remember. Aha! She have followed that rape case up till the time Dr. Joe Dumaki of Women Arise went to trace the uh, purported graveyard of that victim in Port Novo. I went with them. You know, we traced the graveyard of that person in Port Novo. Shure was the media reporting every step of the way. And then a few other media started joining, like STV. I think at one time, Channel started, started reporting it to several blogs. So it will not be the same Shure that now wants to cover a non-existent <laughs> <laughs> if I watch what would do is not to even report a non-existent case in the first place because it's non-existent so it doesn't make any sense for anybody to just come out from the blues and be alleging something so clearly it's either of two things she was either paid to do it or she's just envious of the progress she has recorded or made in just this short while that it started the political movement so she's envious of the fact that Shere is progressing or moving so fast. Then she should just go and give her support to other parties instead of trying to come up with cheap blackmail. She doesn't know how to do blackmail. And she was even trying to form tears in the third video I saw. She doesn't even know how to shed tears. I've seen Okoyemi Ayola in Nollywood. She sheds better tears and it looks original. <laughs> this one now. Now she's a good actress though. She give it to her, right? But what I want to say is this, in the preliminary, I would say that, um, and in the interim, I would say that the woman is just trying, number one, to draw attention to herself. Number two, the reason she did that thing, because it was fake or true, the reason she did that, and I will tell you, let me review what happened to you. The reason she did it was, she wanted to use it to raise funds. And we know some NGOs in this country, people don't give them attention anymore. You know what they do? They will take the plight of some vulnerable children somewhere in the community. They will just snap their photos. They will sit down with them, talk to them, do short video, and start asking for money from international donors, donor agencies, and organizations, in including government itself, to be asking for money. You know, you just go to a community, you snap photo of some vulnerable children looking hungry, and then you now start using it to be asking for money. That is what she wanted to do. By asking, because she believes that with the Sahara Reporter platform reporting that kind of a thing, the international donor agencies will take her seriously. So she already sent a team to follow her. And then they saw that what she was doing was to go and take some, collect some bag of rice from politicians and share with these children. And then she wants Sahara to report it that she's doing philanthropy so that international donor agencies can start giving her money. That's what she wanted to do. Unfortunately, by the time she already sent Tim to follow her, they discovered that it was all spoof. So there was nothing to report. It was no newsworthy for them. And so they, they gave it up. Only for this woman to now come back in 2019, seeing, that, uh, seeing how she has progressed with what he's doing, and now want to blackmail she already. Well, it's fake. And it has failed. <laughs> FF fake and failed try another one that one no you know jail you know jail mm, you know jail so i know a lot of international agencies do not i mean i know a lot of people that work on cases like this and i know media houses none of them in one breath she claimed that uh al jazeera wanted to report the video for her in another breath she claimed that oh she has given to other stations but for some ethical reasons they didn't project her, they didn't do it. So she now believed that it's a Shore media that should report it for her. She now saw through this Akaman J <laughs> and decided it was not worthy of, of his own platform. Somebody who has built his platform, you know, uh, Shore has built his platform over time. He has built a credible platform over time. He has used 
it took several years as of 2015 it was about eight years that Sharia had been running Sarah reporters roughly yeah how many years with integrity with endurance enduring dignity somebody then decide overnight Sharia has been helping people with this platform now ask people ask Kemi Olu lawyer he has been using this platform if he sees that your case is genuine so you don't need to prompt Sharia he sent his crew, he didn't ask them to take money from you. And he sponsored his team to follow you. But when they got there, they found if you really wanted to normally report what you were doing with your organization, he would have reported that you're a Sakamanji and that would have spoiled your business. But he didn't even want to do that. He ignored it. And the only thing you can think of is to come and blackmail him because you can see that his movement is moving so fast. You will meet with posterity, uh, Adetun Wanolaja. Posterity is waiting for you. You better repent before it's too late. Very bad of you. Very bad. Who sent you? This one failed. Oh. Nobody say even failed be my problem. My problem is you just come, you just come spoil your name. See, I see as a spoiler. Doesn't make sense. Doesn't. I'm sorry, people. 187 people online. I have to round off now because even the phone, cell phone I'm using to do this live broadcast now, the battery is already telling me 5% to go. So I'll come your way tomorrow. I may not be able to read all your comments, but I can see them coming in. But I call her Sakaman J woman. She's a Sakaman J lead, not Sakaman J. I didn't want to respond to this because everybody can already see through the scam. But because people are asking me, Shegun, what's your take on this? Shegun, that's why I decided, okay, even with the cell phone, let me just address this matter once and for all. But that's the the LCM of it all. The woman is Sakama and Jay. Everything she said is proof. If you saw the first, second, third video, you see inconsistencies running through all of them. You release the first video, you claim you met Shore. You release the second one, you admitted you never met him. If you see the way she was citing New York, US in the first video, you think they actually met or sat down somewhere. But it turns out it was all proof, all lies. In second video, after she already recorded, I mean, screenshot and uploaded the only time they ever had conversation, she then came out with the second video and said, hey, although we never met physically, but at least I've acknowledged that we had a chat. Is that, is that what you wanted to see in the first video? <laughs> she doesn't even know how to do uh, the Sakamanji business properly. You don't know how to do propaganda. Go and learn. Go and learn. We are expecting better propaganda than you have. If somebody wanted to do propaganda, the best people would have been politicians. Like maybe a Saraki that Sharia had been fighting. You know, they would have said, oh, we paid him money to stop reporting us. Or maybe a Tinubu would have launched. The people that, that are in best position to launch any kind of uh, propaganda against Sharia are those top, top politicians. Not, not a lady, Sakama and Jay from nowhere. You no get them at all. You missed it. I don't know you missed it. Go and reinforce. Go and look for the Tinubus them. Look for the Sarakis them. We should read on the fight scenes. Look for the people, BB people. Look for Babangida. Look for all those top, top military echelon. May they give you, wait if you take do propaganda. This one will sell, no sell. It, it, it didn't leave the shelf. It only spoils your name. Go and look for them. This one will do no work. Sorry. Try again later. Sorry, buddy. Thank you. Tell her to try again with a better propaganda. This one no sell. So I'm going to see you people tomorrow. I, I got to go now. Thank you so much. My name is Shagun Long once again. Keep talking about the things that matter. I love you all. Mwah.